In this video, I will show you how to translate a small Word document using Omega T version 4. The document we want to translate is this one. It's in Finnish and we will translate it into English. For that, we will be able to use some sample terminology supplied in the form of an Excel sheet. It has two columns, one for Finnish terms and the other one for English terms. Finally, we have a reference translation memory available in the TMX format and we will be able to add that translation memory to our Omega T project. So let's switch to Omega T. Omega T is a Java-based application, so it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Here we are using the latest version available for Windows at this time, which is 4.0.1. We will create a new project, so for that I'll select Project, New. An Omega T project is stored in a folder, so I will create a specific folder for my project that I will call Sunto FIEN and save. Omega T remembered the languages I last used, so the source language is Finnish and the target language is British English. Omega T also created a number of subfolders under my project folder. There's one for source documents, one for translation memories, one for glossary, and so on. I'll click on OK. Now, since I haven't uh, selected any translatable document yet, I will do it now. So I'll click on copy file to source folder and I will point to the Omega T folder, which is on my desktop. And this is the Word document I want to translate. I can close this screen. Before I continue, I'll also open in Windows Explorer my Omega T folder. So it's located here and the project folder is this one. And here I'll open the TM folder and this is where I will copy the TMX translation memory that I mentioned earlier. So I will drag and drop it here and I'm done. Next, I have a glossary folder and this is where Omega T expects its terminology to be stored in. So I'll go back to Excel and here, since uh, Omega T cannot use uh, Excel directly, I will save this file, save as, and I will select as the file type Unicode text. So I will get a tab delimited file Omega T expects that file to be called glossary, so I'll change the name to glossary, and I have to store it in my Omega T folder and my Sunto project folder and the glossary subfolder here. Now I can close this file and I have my glossary file in the glossary folder. So now I'm ready for the translation. The first translatable segment is put in bold by Omega T and it's also highlighted in green. By default, Omega T duplicates the source segment into the target segment. Since I don't want this uh, default behavior, I'll go to Options and Editor. And here, instead of uh, the source text, I'll select Leave the segment empty. So from now on, the target segment will be left empty. Now I can delete the content of the target segment and I can enter my own translation. So 9 Passet Alcun in English, it's getting started. When my segment is ready and I can move to the next one, I can use the go to next untranslatable segment command. It's control U. So now my second segment is empty. I can see in the glossary pane on the lower right part of the Omega T window that I have two terms that were recognized. So Pineke button and Valiko menu. These terms were recognized, although they do not occur in exactly the same form in my source segment. So Pineke, it's a nominative plural, whereas Pineke is nominative singular and same with Valikot. In order to enter these uh, recognized terms, I can use the autocomplete command. So I can press Control space and the glossary entries will be on display here. So the first one is button. I can accept it. I can put it in plural and ya yeah, in English it's end. For the third word, I can again press Control space and I can select menu and press enter. Now I put it in plural and I can capitalize the first word. Now I'm ready, I can press Ctrl U to move to the next segment. 
This is a long segment that has also one recognized term, the same that we had before, Pineke button, but this time it's Pineketta, uh, so it's the partitive singular, but yet it was recognized. I'll quickly enter my translation and I can move to the next segment with Control U. Here again, I have two recognized terms, Pina, press 2, and Alotus Valico, start menu, so I can insert them with again Control Space. So the first one and my translation and Alotus Valico was start menu, so control space and enter. Now I can move to the next segment again with control U. Again, two recognized terms, so control space and the rest of the translation and the last word was menu, so control space and menu. Next segment, control U. Again, a recognized term, Pina, so control space, I can copy it, and then the rest of my translation. And now, this word, Taustavalo, I'm not sure about its meaning, so I would like to perform a concordant search. There is no, if I look in the menu, edit or go to, or if I right click on the word, I cannot find anything that points to concordant search. But concordant search in Omega T, it's simply find, which is control F. So if I now press Ctrl F, Omega T will search for this word in not only the memory, but also the glossaries. So I click on search. And indeed, here I have a number of uh, hits from my TMX translation memory. So I can see that Taustavalo appears to be backlight. So I can select backlight. There is no specific command for inserting that term into the target segment. So I can press Ctrl C to copy it. I can close this display and I can insert my term with Ctrl V here. So backlight. Now, if I want to add this new term pair, Taustavalo backlight to my glossary, I can select the source term. Under the edit menu, I can select uh, create glossary entry, which is also Ctrl Shift G. Now I have an entry form. Now I can select the corresponding target term, so backlight, and I can press again Control Shift G. And now I can press OK, and this term pair will be inserted, and indeed it appears in the glossary pane right away. Now I can move to the next segment with Control U. Here I have a fuzzy match. Actually, I have two fuzzy matches, but the best one is on top, number one. Omega T actually gives three different scores for fuzzy matches. So here, this particular match is uh, either 66 or 71 or 84 percent, depending on how you calculate it. So whereas most other CAD tools only give a single score, Omega T gives you three. They are documented in a manual, and this just shows that uh, calculating fuzzy matches is not an exact science. So it depends on the tool that you use, and even within the same tool, on the method that you use for calculating. Now if I want to insert this uh, match, the selected match, I can use the edit command and insert match which is Control i There are two differences between the segment I now need to translate and the one that was translated previously. The first one before I had sur and taxesi increase, now I have pn and taxesi which is decrease. So I have to fix this. The second change was previous, previously I had Ulospan, which is up, and now I have Alaspan, which is down, so I have to make this change here. And now my fuzzy match has been corrected. So I can move to the next segment with Control U. Again, one recognized term, so Control Space, I can insert it, type the rest of the translation. And in this particular segment, there are two tags, which indicates the fact that uh, this portion of text here was in italic in the original document. So I need to insert the same tags around the corresponding portion of text here. For that, I can either use Control Space and then select the tag I need and then move to the end and press again Control Space and insert the missing tag or I can select the portion of text that will be enclosed between tags and I can press Control space and now I have both tags that can be inserted at the same time. Now my translation is ready so I can generate the target version of the document. For that I'll select project and save translated documents which is Control D. 
So if I go to Windows Explorer and go to Documents and Omega T and my product folder, under the target subfolder, I should find my translated document. So if I open it, it's in English and it looks like everything is okay, including the formatting that we applied via tags. So there you have it, how to translate a small word document using Omega T version 4. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel for more similar content. Also hit the like button if you found this video useful. Do use comments below this video if you have any questions or feedback. And see you in the next one.